This is Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, you can find the book worldwide on Amazon in both Kindle and paperback versions. You can find the full color card deck on Etsy slash Magi Method. This morning, uh, we're going to be discussing uh, Meghan Markle and Harry are getting married tomorrow at noon. And... Uh, Megan's side is turning into a bit of a disaster relationally. Um, she, her, her father, Thomas Markle, 73, just had a heart attack. He was scheduled to walk her down the aisle. And he just had three stents put in. He can't make it. Um, uh, Megan didn't invite her step, her half-brother or half-sister. This is Thomas Markle Jr., 51, uh, and Samantha Markle, and they're both quite vocal and bitter about this. Um, she really didn't invite her family. This is her father and Megan. Uh, and I want to examine uh, the, the relationships. And then she has, Megan has three uninvited relatives who showed up very publicly in in Britain the other day uh, and they are Tracy Dooley, Tyler Dooley and Thomas Dooley. Tracy Dooley I guess is the aunt and I was wondering well maybe she'll invite them but no they are they are going to be correspondents for Good Morning Britain okay so it looks like everyone in her family is just cashing in on on this wedding everyone's just cashing in so i want to look at the relationships and then there's this letter from thomas markle jr uh, uh to harry about megan and i'm gonna i'm just gonna throw sort of some cards and see what Thomas and Samantha think, uh, what's going on with the father, what's going on with the mother in the relationships. I'm just going to throw a couple of cards for each of them. And we're just going to kind of get a feeling. We're going to get a sense of what's going on in the relationships. Because it's kind of, this is like a giant relationship catastrophe for Megan. Uh, and it turns out Megan is 36. Okay, she's turning 37 in August. How are they going to have children? Are they going to have children? Okay, this is, this is the curse of our modern age. Uh, she's going to get married and she won't, she's going to get married to a prince of England and she may not be able to have children. That's, uh, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's really terrible. Um, plus, she's been divorced. She may not be able to have children. She's been divorced. Uh, all kinds of things. So let's take a look at the relationships here. Thomas Markle. Oh, those are interesting cards. Okay, so these three. Uh, the father... The mother, oh my goodness, and these three, cousins, can you see all that? Okay, so I want to read you a letter. Thomas Markle Jr., uh, this man, the half-brother, age 51, you can't really see that. He wrote a letter. Dear Prince Harry, on 426, 2018 It's not too late. Meghan Markle is obviously not the right woman for you. As more time passes to your royal wedding, it became very clear that this is the biggest mistake in royal wedding history. I'm confused why you don't see the real Meghan that the whole world now sees. Megan's attempt to act out the part of a princess like a below-sea-average Hollywood actress is getting old. 
What kind of person starts out by using her own father until he's bankrupt, then forgets about him in Mexico, leaving him broke over mostly all her debts? Ms. Uh, Thomas Markle does live in Mexico. And when it's time to pay him back, she forgets her own father like she never knew him. My father will never recover financially from paying Megan's way, nor emotionally from disavowing him. Meg is showing her true colors. It's very apparent that her tiny bit of Hollywood fame has gone to her head, changing her into a jaded, shallow, conceited woman that will make a joke of you and the royal family heritage. Not to mention, to top it all off, she doesn't invite her own family and instead invites complete strangers to the wedding. Who does that? You and the royal family should put an end to this fake fairy tale wedding before it's too late. Her own father didn't get an invite. Well, he did. He was scheduled to walk her down the aisle. He, whom should be walking her down the aisle, she easily forgets. If it wasn't for my father, she would be bussing tables and babysitting to pay off her old debts. The whole world is watching Meg make bad decisions and choices. It's not too late, Harry. Megan is still my sister. She is family. So whatever happens is up to her. Whether she wants to forget knowing me or the rest of her family, family comes first. Also, you would think that a royal wedding would bring a torn family closer together. But I guess we're all distant family to Meg. Sincerely, Thomas Markle Jr. Ouch. If uh, that's, that's one heck of a letter and... If, if he succeeded, if Thomas Markle Jr., age 51, succeeded in ruining this for Megan, that's, that would be it. I don't think she would ever recover. What's going on with Thomas Markle here? Okay, we have, in terms of the relationship with Megan, we have inheritance, man, Mercury. This is, uh, inheritance is, he's, you know, blood relative, honest man. Communication. Honest man communicating about the relationship. Wow. Let's add it. 2332. Uh, scapegoat. He feels just really rejected. He's legitimately hurt. He feels really rejected by Megan. That's really sad. Um, okay, Thomas Markle. This is the father. He was scheduled to walk Meg, Megan down the aisle. Um, he was caught doing a publicity stunt where he... Now, he's a lighting director, okay? And he worked on... He, he was nominated for nine Daytime Emmy nominations, and he won twice for lighting. So he's a very talented man. Uh, he did file bankruptcy uh, in 19, uh, 2016, and he does live in Mexico, so he filed bankruptcy. Uh, but he's a very accomplished man. Uh, he also did the 1984 LA Olympics, the lighting. He also did the 1986 Oscars, the lighting. He and the mother divorced, I think, in 1989, so a really long time ago. And Megan would have been pretty young. But they continued having a relationship afterwards. Megan spent uh, her afternoons on, on the set of Married with Children, you know, being minded by her father as he was working. What are his feelings? Okay, he had a heart attack. He's not able to make the wedding. Okay, uh, so this adds 20, five spades, blockage. Fives are changed. He gets crossroads, hamster wheel, Jacob's ladder. There's no hearts here. It's just a long trip. A long trip to come up there and traveling, and it's blocked. There's no hearts on his side at all. Ouch. Terrible. Okay. Thomas, he has hearts. He's just very angry, feels really left out. There's no hearts on Tom on the father's side who was going to walk her down the aisle. Wow. Um, and he had this heart attack right before. Okay, here's these three people, the, the, the Dooleys. 
Tracy Dooley, Tyler Dooley, and Thomas Dooley, and they're going to be correspondents for Good Morning Britain. Uh, what's going on with them? Finger of God, Strength, Olive Tree. Okay, so let's, what does this add to? This is 18 plus 6, 24, 6 spades, Incubus Succubus. This is their five minutes of fame. Uh, they're just trying to get a paycheck. Uh, they're part of the situation. They're part of the family. And they're just, they're just coming in to get what they can out of this. Again, there's no hearts here. No hearts. Goodness gracious. The mother, uh, this is the mother, and her eyes are closed. Okay, there's... In body language, you look for uh, contradictions. Okay, she's smiling, but her eyes are closed. Uh, her, and Megan is not looking at her mother. She's looking at the camera. Um, the eyes closed means she's hiding her true feelings. And I looked at other pictures because I wanted uh, the mother and Megan to have a a good close relationship and I don't like the body language that I'm seeing between them in another photo where the mother is graduating uh, here she's wearing a graduation hat she's they're both leaning away from each other and the mother is kind of pushing Megan away a little bit with her butt uh, with her hip so just the body language is strange so what's going on with the mother and the mother is attending um, and the mother met the father. She was working for a little while in Hollywood as a makeup artist while he was the lighting designer. That's where they fell in love uh, and ended up getting married. Um, uh, the mother became a, uh, a clinical psychologist. She went back to school, became a clinical psychologist. Before that, she was an airline stewardess. She was a bit of a, a gypsy, a hippie, uh, you know, a very free spirit, and that's a good thing. Um, clearly, Megan followed after her father, okay, into the business. Uh, so he was a good example. So what's going on with her? We get the no card, we get the diamond ring, and we get city. Wow. Okay, so diamond ring, she's, the mother's committed to the relationship with Megan. She, this is her child. What does this add to? This is 11, this is 19, crossroads, decision. Five clubs, crossroads. So, no diamond ring city. City can be a stranger card in relationship. There's no hearts again. No hearts. Uh, she's committed to the relationship because she's a mother. She's not really feeling it. The no is like dead. Um, the no is like, so unfortunately, Megan has just really terrible, Megan has terrible relationships. Uh, okay, so let's, let's recap. What do we have going on here? The brother is the most honest person. He's the only one with a heart showing. Okay, and he wrote this scathing letter that would just destroy Megan. Uh, if he succeeded. He did not succeed, and I don't think she would ever recover from a blow like that. Um, he was being honest. He's not a psychopath. He's being honest. He's showing as an honest man, communicating about his relationship. He just feels really rejected by Megan. He feels really unloved and rejected by Megan. The father, uh, who, who took a huge part in raising Megan, even after they were divorced, and he did a good job. She followed after his footsteps. Uh, the brother accuses him of, uh, accuses her of just leaving uh, the fa him in the lurch and not helping. She's very wealthy now. She definitely could help her father. Her father is bank. He did go bankrupt. He is living in Mexico. It's about half price to live in Mexico. That's why you live in Mexico. Um, a lot of changes in his life. Life is just very heavy and hard. Hamster wheel is very heavy and hard. It just seemed like too big a deal for him, too heavy of a burden for him to come out to the wedding. I mean, what a, I mean, he could react very differently. He could feel like this is the greatest thing that ever happened to him, and he's so proud of his daughter, but it's just a big burden to him. It's too hard of a trip, and he had a heart attack. 
Interesting. So the, the glue of the strong relationship for, and the love for Megan is not there. That love connection is not there. Um, with the mother... She's very committed to the relationship because she's the mother. But we have a stranger card and we have no. <sighs> Again, there's no hearts and this is a very negative. Spades are uh, the opposite of hearts. Okay, so I feel like the relationship between Megan and the mother is really kind of broken. And it's for the public. She's committed to Megan for the public image. That's what it is. But the heart is not in it. Her heart's not in it. She's committed to Megan and she's committed to her daughter and Megan and her prosperity as a person because it's her daughter. But the, the love connection is not there. But there, she's committed. And that's why she's doing it. Uh, the Dooleys, the cousins who flew in, they're just carpetbaggers. Um... This adds six spades, which is Incubus Succubus. In the Incubus Succubus just sucks the life out of its victim and steals whatever it can. Uh, they're, they're just part of the rooted situation in the family, and they're just swooping in to steal whatever they can get. They, this is their five minutes of fame. They just want to get a payout. And again, there's just no love. No love for Megan. Wow. Um, I'm going uh, to ask one more question. Is Harry, what are Harry's feelings about this marriage tomorrow? I mean, it's very common for people to get cold feet. I feel like it's all one way. I feel like Megan is benefiting and Harry is not getting a benefit here. She can't have, she may, she very well may not be able to have children. She's 36, she's 30, turning 37. This is a, he's a king of the world. He can have any woman he wants. He can have the most beautiful woman in the world. She's a very beautiful woman, but she's 36 and she's a divorced woman. He should not pick a divorced woman. I think that's against, that's against what he's allowed to do. Um, what are, what are Harry's feelings going into the wedding is he, what are his feelings? Is he all in? Wow, okay. Can you see that? Okay, for Harry's feelings, we get Star of Bethlehem, Home, and Ruler, and we get the Executioner. The Executioner uh, has shown up before in readings for him. He's just going to do it. The Executioner makes a unilateral decision. These are pretty good cards. He is really hoping for a family and and he's he's making this decision and he's he's not backing out of it. So this is 24. Oh dear. Six spades, which is incubus succubus again. He's making a selfish decision and this is the path that he's chosen and he's I think he's kind of going against the advice of the queen mother and the other royals, and the royal council, and this is shown in previous, but he's in, and he believes that this is going to work out, and he feels, he's in, and he feels good about it, and he's not going to, he's not going to back away from it, so, um, in conclusion, uh, it's kind of, Megan is, she has some really bad relationships, um, she has some really bad relationships, uh, especially with her family. Um, and, and the person who wrote the most scathing words are Tom, his, her half brother, and he's the only one with a heart showing. So she really needs to work on her relationships. And I, I hope that it works out for them. I hope that God blesses this relationship, this marriage. And may God bless England. So, anyway, I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method.
You can find the book worldwide on Amazon in both Kindle and paperback versions. You can find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. You can join us on Facebook.